Good evening friends, I hope you're okay. I'm back again with another video, but as you can see, I'm no longer using macOS Sonoma. I reverted to macOS Monterey, that is version 12, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, version 12.7.4. And as you can see, I'm using my mouse. If you see, I'm currently moving my touchpad, but it's not moving. So I'm using my mouse, but in this guide, I'll be showing you a quick one on how to fix the touchpad. Uh, and as you know, the reason why I moved from Montreal to Ventura was because, the reason was because I couldn't get my touchpad to work, but uh, I realized I was getting everything wrong. That is why I reverted back to just prove that I was doing the right thing. So all along I've been using, let me go to the download section. All along I was using the Synaptic trackpad, but I came to realize mine is the Elan trackpad. So I was supposed to be using the Elan trackpad, but all along I was trying to make sure and to force that uh, the Synaptic trackpad works on my PC. As you guys know, I'm using Lenovo X260. So I'll be showing you guys quickly how to fix that without wasting much of your time. So first, I'll link these uh, files in the description or in my Telegram channel so that you can download them. So we'll open Elan trackpad. Then you'll just follow the usual steps to mount our EFI that is using the open core, then mount, I've already mounted mine. So in this guide, I'll be using only the Voodoo PS2, Voodoo PS2. So what I'll do is I'll just copy it, right click, then copy. Then I'll go to my EFI, which has been mounted, EFI OC folder, KX folder. Then I'll paste it here. As you can see, there is nothing here. So I'll paste it here. And if you have other cakes already, that is any Voodoo cakes, be it Voodoo PS2, be it Voodoo RMI, or be it Voodoo SM Buzz, you should remove all of them for you to try out this uh, fix. So once you have it, also ensure you remove the Apple PS2. I noticed this Apple PS2 does not work at all and the Montreal version. So I'll just remove it. Then also ensure once you remove it, you empty the bin so as to completely remove it out of your machine. So that's it. Now let's go back, then open our config.plist to finish the remaining step. Uh, now go to the kernel section. Under the kernel section, Ensure you remove the Apple PS2 smash touchpad.kext by clicking the minus button here. Mm, then what you have to do is drag this kext. Go to the kext folder, the kext we just, in, uh, we just copied here, that is Voodoo PS2. Drag it in here. Let us see if, yeah, there we go, the Voodoo PS2. It adds all other plugins. So you don't need to worry about how it happened. You just drag it and it does all the things for you. So once that has, up, uh, has finished, we shall save. Then I'll close this. So I'll restart my PC. Then I'll try first without using my touchpad to see, uh, without using my mouse to see if it works. So I'll see you guys on the other side. As you can see, the mouse is moving. That is, I'm using the mouse. But I've noticed a very funny glitch. When I tap on the system preference or anywhere, it does not work unless you press it down, just like you'll do while right clicking. So that is something I noticed. I need to press it down, but I think the issue could come from here. As you can see, it says no trackpad found, but the funny thing is my trackpad is moving, only that it cannot, I cannot change the settings to allow the tap ones to click. So I think that is what I'll be working on next, but so far so good, at least we have fixed something. The trackpad is moving, it's functional as you can see. Uh, the, I'm not using my mouse, I wish I would have had a camera to show you guys uh, that my ports, I don't have any mouse connected, but I think you'll just take me for my word. So as you can see, I can 
you can use the touch pad but you you have to click down let's say like when you click the displays you'll have to click it down but you you if you tap on it it does not work it does not sense the tap that is i guess it's because uh, the setting is not yet turned on so i'll try to look for a solution on how to enable the trackpad the trackpad gestures i think that is my next task to look for how to enable the trackpad gestures so that i'll be showing you guys how to fix that tap that touch or tap issue so thank you guys for watching again i'm sorry for being away for quite a while but i'm back and so far you'll be seeing me using mac os Monterey for quite a while i think to me i felt like mac os sonoma was quite slow quite buggy that's why i tried to revert back to mac os Monterey because this was i think the most stable version i encountered while using hackintosh so i'll be doing my most tutorial here but i have uh, i have the mac os on normal virtualized so in case you will need anything you'll just let me know but i'll also i think i'll dual boot yeah i think i'll dual boot mac os sonoma here so that i'll have the two versions of mac os sonoma running side by side so that in case you need anything or in case you need any guidance if you are using the latest version that is sonoma i'll be able to help you guys out so thank you so much again for watching remember to like subscribe and share the video for more tutorials see you guys on the next one signing out